take a guide. All right, if you see this guide, I don't know if you can see this guide, but if you see, it's been sanded down by the factory. When you purchase guides, they have too much meat in the metal. You have to sand down that meat. This has been machine sand this has been machine sanded because I can tell it's got burn marks on it. I don't like that. It leaves sharp edges. You can't have a sharp edge. Matter of fact, there's an edge hanging off. So here you go with your emery cloth. Take the emery cloth on the top side of the guide you want to gently take your sandpaper and work it down. Cut. Okay. Alright, now that I got my base wrap completed, I'm going to put my guide wrap in purple. You don't ever want to base wrap and then wrap around the same color. It makes it very difficult to see to where when your threads get out of line. You want your threads to be perfectly in line. Unfortunately, we have some rain coming in, but it's a beautiful day in North Carolina. I'm not scared of the rain. And for March, hey, I'm happy. It's warm. So once again, you put your thread down in, in into the tray, through the book, and back up. You're going to start ahead of where you started your base wrap. You're going to wrap over top and inside, and slowly roll it over. This is kind of difficult. You got to keep fingers on it, keep it tight. All right. Oh, having problems with it. Little. Yep. There we go. There we go. Now the second time around, I pretty much locked my thread. Okay. Rain's letting up a little bit. That's great. Any good fisherman doesn't mind the rain. That's the reason I'm head of Fishing Team Fearless. Nothing scares us. Rain, waves, it's all the same. So I'm going to start my wraps. Alright, here in a minute, I'm going to have to get the guide ready. But I started over my base wrap. Most in the, most companies who build fishing rods do not put a base wrap. What I was showing you earlier about dulling down the guide foot. When you don't have a base wrap, the guide foot will cut your line. And this is where the book comes in handy. Because I'm going to take a quick break to get my guide set straight. 